Among Lowell's many accomplishments as a sailor include racing in the America's Cup trials and winning two Olympic medals, a gold in the star class in 1968 and a bronze in the dragon class in 1964. Lowell was a collegiate sailor. His team placed second at the Nationals held at MIT in 1950. Most impressively, he won five star class world championships. The first year he had a star boat here in San Diego. He was 15 and I was 17 and I needed a crew to go to the world championship and Lowell had the best sail in the fleet so that's how I selected Lowell. I thought when I started making sails that I knew what a sail should look like. So, and sails were pretty, really bad. When I first started making sails it was pretty easy because there were, most of the sails were really bad so to make a better sail was, was far easier than it is nowadays. I was just thrilled to be around Lowell and, and watch him and, and try to learn from him. I, I never really knew what, uh, why he was doing something, but I was quick to copy it. I didn't have to know. I just know if he was doing it, I wanted to be the same. So I, I, I was myopic. Lowell wanted to understand before he made anything, and the way he understood was sort of looking at it scientifically. Then and now, the company reflects the philosophy of its founder. Lowell North believed that a scientific approach and extensive testing would produce the best result. I think Lowell figured that anybody that could make a sailboat program work or make a sailboat go fast could also be a good businessman. So his definition of Tiger was, be successful on the race course and you'll be successful in business. One of Lowell's first Tigers was his 1968 Olympic gold medal crew, Peter Barrett. I asked Peter Barrett if he would like to be a sailmaker. And he said, yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I've been building sails in my basement. We made a deal on the back of an envelope. A few months later, Peter flew out and took a quick course in how we built sails. Peter was doing twice the business we were doing in San Diego, like he was selling a million dollars worth of sails and making a lot of money. So uh, you might say the light dawned. All I have to do is find people like Peter Barrett and send them out to do their thing. With Lowell North retiring in 1983, Peter Barrett approached Terry Kohler with an idea. He called me and he said, Terry, how'd you like to buy North Sales? And I said, you gotta be kidding. You know, I, I, I've already bought plenty of sales this year. You know. No, he said, the whole ball of wax, the whole company. And I said, I know you're kidding now. So that, that, anyway, that's how the conversation started. The culture that, that Lowell had set up was a very strong one, one that was uh, dynamically interested in improving the product the sales through the process of testing and engineering. The problem was going to be to try and maintain that culture that Lowell uh, had put together. Uh, and it is a unique culture. And I felt that the, the biggest single risk there was going to be that I would lose that culture because of my imposition of, of new management techniques. The reason why North's been able to be successful even after Lowell is that we're able to do it in his approach. He left a, a scientific model that works. You don't have to follow it verbatim. But if you follow what he was trying to create, you can't go wrong. And if, you were, if he was just an artist and he did it by eye, we wouldn't be able to follow him. I, I don't think there's anything like um, the company that, that Lowell North put together. I don't think there's any form of organization I've ever run across that has the same kind of characteristics. We almost compete against each other inside the company. We want to come up with newer ideas and newer applications and newer something or others that are somehow or other going to enhance the total product for everybody else as well. I think it was all the love of winning and, and, and creating things and, and seeing his ideas come to fruition that uh, was the basis of, of uh, the North Empire that we see today. The scientific culture he created continues today at the North Technology Group.